Aloha and welcome to this quick screencast that shows the Play Example Quality Assurance project. The idea here is that I wanted a convenient and fast way for people to, um, and myself actually, to quickly integrate a number of quality assurance tools including PMD, CheckStyle, FindBugs, Javadoc, and Jococo into the Play framework. So I kind of went around the web and basically just integrated um, code that other people originally developed. Um, so I want to start off by going to the last section, the credits. Um, Yuri Masori, who did the, um, the CheckStyle and PMD integration. Joaquin Hoffer, who did uh, FindBugs and um, Jococo. And then Ivanic Esnault, who did the Javadoc and ScalaDoc integration. So I basically just took their code and, and um, combined it all together in one package. And I changed some of the configuration options slightly to provide a more uniform uh, experience. Okay. Um, and I'm definitely not a uh, Scala or SBT hacker. Um, so I think the code could probably be improved and I, will, I hope that the community will help me make it better. To integrate all of these quality assurance tools, you're just going to be working inside the project directory. You don't have to change anything else. And as you can see here, what's going to happen is um, we're going to have to modify two pre-existing files, build.scala and plugins.sbt. And then we're going to add a bunch of other files, some of which define commands and some of which, um, some of which uh, provide configuration options to the commands once installed. So let's go through these quickly. Plugins.sbt. Here, what we're going to do is update the library dependencies um, variable to uh, download the CheckStyle, PMD, and Jococo libraries. And then we're going to also add the um, SBT plugin for, called FindBugs for SBT and the um, plugin for Jococo on these two lines. It's basically what you're going to have to change about plugins.sbt. Build.scala, there's a little bit more. There's some additional imports you'll need to make. Um, you'll define this um, variable s to augment the settings with uh, find bugs and Jococo settings, and then you'll uh, provide this settings equals s in the um, the invocation of this uh, project build file, and then in the settings area, you're going to basically define the PMD task the check style task and the API task, okay, um, those are not defined as plugins. They're basically Scala code that we kind of add into the SBT build file. And, um, and then these last two sections are configuration values for the FindBugs um, plugin and the Jococo plugin, okay? Um, Probably the best way to start, I guess, is just to kind of try to integrate all this stuff, and then you, if you don't need them, you can try adding, you know, subtracting the code that, that doesn't appear relevant to you. In general, it should be pretty clear um, that I don't have any dependencies amongst all their packages. They're all kind of implemented independently, so hopefully it'll be easy for you to just add the stuff that you want if you don't want to get everything. Okay, so um, those are the two files, build.scala and plugins.sbt, that are pre-existing that you're going to want to have to change. There are several more files that you're going to add into this project directory. So API doc settings is one of them. This is the file that defines um, code to run ScalaDoc and Javadoc. And you can look through this code and, for example, the, here's the line that actually invokes the Javadoc command and there's a bunch of arguments there. So if you want to fool around with the output of Javadoc, this is probably the place that you want to do it. The, uh, the PM, I'll go through this, the PMD settings file is the one that defines invocation of uh, PMD. And here, um, again, it, you're, we're going to kind of create a command line um, arguments in this part of the code right here and then um, run PMD right here and then we print out 
the results of running PMD to the console that you can, so you can see it immediately um, when, when you invoke the command. Okay, so that's how PMD is implemented. Um, check style is implemented in very much the same way. Again, there was a template that UV Masori created. I kind of split it up into two independent files in case you only wanted check style or PMD, you didn't want the other one. Um, but they're all, they're pretty similar here. Um, we uh, you know create a command line um, argument list here, and then we run it, and then we print out the results to the console so you can see what happened. Again, if you want to customize um, check style in certain ways, that on the command line there's the the place you'll do it. But there's also this configuration file that I'll get to in a second. So we've defined uh, Javadoc, Scaladoc, check style, and PMD. Um, the next thing is when you invoke, say, um, uh, some of these files, you may want to configure how they operate. Okay, so in the case of check style, um, check style, the check style system, um, generally you want to um, pass it a configuration file which specifies exactly how check style is going to work and this is the file that's included you may or may not agree with these customization this particular configuration of check style so go ahead and you know change whatever you feel is inappropriate to match your particular project there's a similar um, set of uh, rules or configuration options for um, PMD that are located here so you can change uh, those definitions if you want to alter the way PMD works. Finally, for find bugs, there's a file called find bugs exclude filter. And here, uh, the basic idea is that we're excluding from analysis the automatically generated classes uh, that play creates out of the Scala views and, and route definition files because they don't do things like, you know, use an uppercase letter for the first um, letter of the class file, and that creates these errors that, you know, none of us can do anything about, really, um, and probably we don't even really care. So um, this just gets rid of that from analysis. Okay, so, um, and then finally, in terms of configuration, you can go into this file, and you'll find that there's some, for two of the um, commands, find bugs and Jococo colon cover, you can see that there's some lines here which enable you to customize um, uh, for example, the report type or where you are putting the find bugs output. And here there's some stuff associated with Jococo. Again, that um, generally you probably don't want to mess or change this, but, but maybe you do. Uh, maybe the libraries will change in the future, but you know, that's where you want to go look for it. Okay, so that is, I believe, um, pretty much the way you're going to do installation. So you're going to edit your existing plugins.sbt and your existing build.scala. You're going to add in one, two, three, four, five, six new files into that project directory, and you should be ready to go. Okay. Um, and I show you in the documentation page or in the, you know, the home page here examples of invoking all of the five tools. Um, and so just to provide kind of more fun. Let's, let's try doing them interactively so you can see what happens when we run it. Here's an example of running check style. You can see that for the default play application that's generated with a play new command, there's a bunch of check style violations. I think these are actually quite appropriate uh, changes. It would be nice if the play developers actually fix these changes, in my humble opinion. Um, you can also, and then you can see ls target slash check, whoops, slash check style. There's the check style report right there that's echoed out. Similar, we can run uh, PMD from the command line. Okay, and in this case, there are no errors given the configuration file for PMD, specifying what rules are actually gonna be run. There are no errors that are found. Um, the file that PMD generates is in, um, target um, PMD, there's the report, and actually if we do, you can see there's nothing in it, okay? 
Um, next, let's try um, let's try find bugs. Okay, and you can see in this case that it says success, ran for seven seconds. Um, what this plugin will do is it'll actually, spe it'll actually indicate in the command line how many errors were found, if there were any errors found. In this case, there are no errors found, so it doesn't say anything. But what we can do, just to show you what's going on, if we go to target find bugs, findbugs.xml, which is the file that it's going to generate, um, you can see it does generate this XML file, but this is basically um, context information. So we can see what the class path is that it was using. Um, there's statistics about how long it take, but took to run the file. But the important thing here is you can see errors equals zero, missing classes equals zero. So it's all good. Basically, there were no errors found. All the rest of this stuff is just information about the actual execution of Finebox. OK, what's next? Let's try Jococo. Okay, and the, there's a bunch of different Jococo commands that are defined by the plugin, but the one you probably want to use 99% of the time is Jococo colon cover, which is going to instrument the, the, byte, uh, the, the class files, run your test code, and generate the, the report. So let's just do that. Jococo is pretty cool, it runs pretty fast. And um, what we'll do here to get it. Um, so it's generated a, a uh, OK, so if we go into target Jococo HTML, we get an index file. And here we see the coverage report for Jococo. Um, turns out that in our application um, class, we didn't actually invoke the, the top level application because the way our test cases were run. Um, but we did invoke all of the code inside that particular index method. So that's the way that, um, that Jococo works. Oops. OK. And last but not least is play API doc. And what this is going to do is in the file in target slash doc slash API slash Java. I don't have any Scala classes that are actually gen uh, documented via this. But we can go in here, and we can click on the index, and we can see that we have some Java docs um, generated for our sample application. Unfortunately, the uh, developers of Play in their infinite wisdom do not actually provide any Java docs for their sample documentation, so you can't actually see anything here. But um, but if we were to do, you know, if they were to provide it, then we'd actually see information about the sample application. Okay, so um, let me go back to here. I think that gives you an example of how all of these things work. And uh, I hope you have fun with this package. I'll try to update it uh, based upon feedback from the community. And um, enjoy. Thanks. And again, once more, thanks to um, Yuvi Masori, Joaquin Hoffer, and Ivanic Esnault for a snow, um, for actually writing the code originally, which I've simply just cut and pasted into this project.